Hello friends, come with me as I plan for my daughter's third birthday party. Our first plan of action was to pick up a few decor pieces along with some balloons for a balloon garland. We visited Supreme Party Supply located off Harwin Drive in Houston, Texas. This year's theme was Minnie Mouse. We purchased our goods and headed home. We purchased some birthday banners, cups, plates and napkins, tablecloths and balloons, and the party favors were gifted from my mom. For this year's party, I tried to be as budget friendly as I could and found various ways to cut costs, but still make this a fun yet memorable birthday. My first task at hand was to DIY my display signs. I purchased some foam poster board from Dollar Tree and have this large display sign printed at my local CVS. This print alone would have cost me almost $20. However, I was able to find an online coupon code that made it only about six bucks. Here I apply some clear Elmer's glue to the back of the print, spread it out using a paintbrush and adhere it to the foam poster board. While I let my large sign dry, I began working on my smaller display signs using a separate poster board. Now for these signs, I just print it from my regular computer at home. And since I printed these signs on regular copy paper, I just used a glue stick to adhere them to the board. Next, I use an X-Acto knife to cut out my display signs. And in case you're wondering, I purchased this design off Etsy. It was an instant download file that I could save to my computer and edit to my liking. Next, I used leftover poster board and cut out little triangles. I hot glued them to the back base of the main display signs to use them as support to stand up. On to my next mission, which was a DIY fringe backdrop. To keep with the Minnie Mouse theme, I chose light and fuchsia pink as well as black and white. I began cutting my tablecloths into strips, keeping the sizes about an inch to an inch and a half. 
just so you know, I used two tablecloths of each color. With all my strips cut out, it was now time to put together the backdrop. For the base of my backdrop, I used garden fence. You can purchase this at your local Home Depot. However, I purchased mine on Amazon for about $27. I've seen some people hang their garden fence base on a backdrop stand using zip ties. However, I used thumbtacks to my wall and it worked just fine. I began looping individual strips of tablecloth through the squares of the garden fence. I did a total of four rows of tablecloth strips across the garden fence base. And in case you're wondering, no, you don't have to do each individual square on your fence base. Your tablecloth strips are long enough to cover the gap of space in between each row of strips that you apply. Since I do work full time, I spent my evenings after work completing this fringe backdrop. I completed it over the course of about three nights. Once I completed all four rows of tablecloth strips, I went back and added more strips to various areas to give it a fuller and more dense look. And lastly, I just trim up some pieces of strips to give it a not so even look. And here's the completed product. Follow me for part two.